Michelle said, I reiterate in spades everything that was said about, I, I know everybody that said that, I, you know, the, about the scientists who were censored and their lives lost. I appreciate because I know each and every one was talking about what happened to me and Dr. Assetti. And so um, we've honored our promise that we made in 2010 or 11 when we first uncovered this plague of corruption um, surrounding. And, and we didn't think our work had anything to do with vaccines. It was all about a contaminated blood supply. It was all about a new family of HIV-like retroviruses. So thank you, Pam, for saying that. In the Bureau of Monkey Kidney Cells and far beyond. So there's so much that was said today that supports us and, and we'll go on and say it. And, and so what we've dedicated, so I wrote an email in um, August 31st of 2011 to head of the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute and I promised them I'd spend the rest of my life um, and they would not get rid of me, hunting them down if they did this again. <laughs> much to the dismay of my identical twin and Dr. Rossetti, maybe my husband, but he just turns down his hearing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and, and so that's what we're here for. They can't censor the science. The science is out there. Thank you. The book is Plague, PlagueTheBook.com. It's on Amazon. It's Audible. It's fabulous. So it tells the story of the corruption and it names names. So just skip. If you get bored with the science, you know, read the jails chapters, you know, body, my, my body cavity searches were no, of no joy to my mother, but for, oh. when, when you see some people who didn't understand the science said, you're kidding me. I'm like, yeah, 53 year old healthy woman, you know? And so <laughs> that, what they made out of my neighborhood is they drug me out of there in shackles because I refused to be the coward that, that William Thompson was. And Dr. I hope if Dell's here, he will stop using those examples. He said the other day uh, in, at the CalJam meeting, he named somebody at Merck and said he was forced to, forced to cover up Merck fraud on Garza. Wait a minute, forced, forced to do what? Um, what happened to drop everything and follow Jesus? You know, we lost everything. I, we lost everything. I don't have a credit card. I just throw a bill on the table every month and say, Frank, pay your credit card. And I come here on money, I'm sponsored by beautiful Pam Ray, of people like you who, I got, a, I got an envelope once with 10 $100 bills in it at Christmas time when I'm like, oops, the, the family's gonna figure it out. And, and here comes an envelope, 10 $100 bills, one piece of paper printed, evil must not win. So over the last seven years, over and over and over again, support. You know, when God says, do it, and you'll be taken yes. care of, yes. do it. It's Amen. the right thing to do. I thank all of you who are speaking engaged. You know, biblical, Acts 21, 25. It says, don't eat cow blood. <laughs> well, if you don't eat it, don't inject it. Inject it. Inject it. Inject it. And don't allow your religious freedoms to be removed. We, as everybody does, the beautiful speech by Sandy there about what, you know, the, the religious freedoms and, and, and our, our basic human and religious constitutional rights. Um, Thomas Jefferson, um, it was lost on some, but I'm from University of Virginia. So Thomas Jefferson actually, in when they were bill, doing the Bill of Rights, it was because the Queen of England said, um, worship at the Church of England or you don't get an education. Well, what does it sound like 21st century America? Are you kidding me? Worship at the Church of Big Pharma, or you don't get an education, or you don't have a job? That's against everything we stand for, and this is a revolution. And, and I'm not giving up my shot, and I'm going to see if Dell will give me back that 30 mil syringe that's filled with green antifreeze <laughs> so we can show exactly what we'll shoot them with. <laughs> and I am and I am going to civil disobedience. This is what we yeah. do. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Arrest me? <laughs> I, I actually won a court case. I went pro se because the tax, um, tax, whatever, IRS said I owed taxes um, for 2015, something like $20,000. 
because my legal problems, I had deducted the lawyer's fees who were fighting for my right to work and my civil rights, a case which was dismissed. Um, I think because <laughs> um, we failed to file something which we filed and it disappeared from the, the file. Um, not to say that somebody doesn't control the internet, so please. <laughs> uh, at, at any rate, um, um, the IRS lady um, talked to her for a couple of years, filed in pro se, and said, no, I'm not self-employed. I'm not paying $3,500 self-employment tax. I'm a research scientist who was unemployed and rendered unemployable because my constitutional rights were taken away from me and because I wouldn't back down and cover up the data and throw it away and say, oh, I made a little mistake and I'll spend the rest of my life doing honest research. No, I spent all my life doing honest research. Now, and now now I'm So I, I appreciate you, Leanne, for this dinner, for everything. I mean, you have no idea, just as to reiterate what Dell said, what it means to have you here, to have you reading, to have you talking. I, I, I've been off of Facebook. I, I'm banned for life um, by a permanent legal injunction that says nobody can ever learn the truth of what was taken out of my office and planted OJ style on me for this fabricated crime. So they can't ever see it. Nobody can ever see it, but I, I have a sense of humor, and I, I blind copied Frank Rossetti on everything. So I was told, don't put anything in the body of an email. Told this in 2010 by a lawyer. Uh, so, because it's discoverable. And so I put, from that day on, I put everything in the body of an email. And I, and I blind copied uh, um, Frank Rossetti. And Frank Rossetti is a computer kind of illiterate. He hasn't the slightest idea how to delete an email. <laughs> and he was forced into retirement, and he showed up um, on my doorstep in Carlsbad, California in 2013. He had that big recyclable bin that they had did that told Thompson and his colleagues, just throw all the raw data there, and we'll take care of you with our teacup statistics. Uh, so at any rate, that's a long story. But he, 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 he said, so he stood there dutifully as they directed in front of the guard like we saw today. He put everything in that blue recycle bin. He said goodbye to him at the end of the night. And on somewhere in 2013, when he finally moved to Carlsbad, California, he knocked on my door. And they're here. I, I opened the door, and here's Frank standing there saying, I don't know how this shit got in my moving man. I don't know how this every piece of data, which I spent the next two years standing on yeah. the yeah. hard drives, yeah. sending around the world and putting yeah. in boxes so I'm hiding in plain sight, kill me. And, and every single one of hundreds of thousands of emails are printed and scanned, and, and we got them, and they know it. So, um, yeah. as, as they yeah.